very important uh, principle in physics, which is principle of conservation of energies. According to this principle, for an isolated or closed system, the total energy of that system is always constant. What is mean by constant? Constant means the total amount of energy at an initial state or initial positions must always equal to the total amount of energy at a final position or final state. So basically, energy can only be transferred or convert from one type of energy, one form, to another, such as we might change the mechanical energy to heat energy. Anyhow, energy cannot be destroyed or created. Then, if we focus on the discussion of mechanical energy, then we are going to have the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, where in which, in a conservative system, for example, providing that there will be no friction acting on the system, the total mechanical energy, which is kinetic and potential energy, will be always constant. So, the total amount of potential and kinetic energy at the initial state must always equal to the total potential and kinetic energy for a final state. The conservative system here means the forces uh, that act on the system is only referred to the conservative forces such as gravitational force and elastic forces. Okay, There will be no friction force acting. There will be no friction force acting. Okay, So class, this figure shows us how the energy is being conserved in the process. For example, at state 1, before the stone is being released, because of the height, so the stone will are going to have gravitational potential energy. Okay? Then as we release the stone, the stone is moving downwards. So as it falls down, its gravitational potential energy are going to change to kinetic energy. As the stone strike on the floor, we will find out that it will only have kinetic energy. There will be no potential energy at this final state. Why? Because as it strike on the ground, uh, there will be no height. Tak ada ketinggian. Jadi, kita tidak akan ada sebarang gravitational potential energy. Okay? So, you can see how the energy is being converted to another type throughout the process. Same score for this one. When we compress the spring, the spring will store elastic potential energy. There will be no kinetic energy because the tart is not moving. So, the only energy for the system is the elastic potential energy. Anyhow, upon release, we will find out that the elastic potential energy of the spring are going to convert to the kinetic energy of the tart. That's why the tart will move off with a certain velocity. So we can see obviously there is a change of energy from elastic potential energy to kinetic energy. But then class bear in mind, in normally in real situations where friction force is acting on our system in a direction that opposite to the direction of motions, then we will find out that the initial mechanical energy of the system will be equal to the reduced final mechanical energy of the system plus with the heat energy due to the work done by the frictions. Then at that particular situation, we are going to have initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy plus with the work done by the frictions will equal to the final kinetic energy plus with the final potential energy. Okay, But this equation is only valid if in real situation whereby the friction is exits in the system. Okay. Now I'll show you one example how we are going to apply the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. So refer to your lecture notes example 4. We have a roller coaster car shown in the figure is pulled up to point 1 where it is released from rest. Assuming no friction is acting, we want to calculate the speed of the car at point 2 and also point 3. So class, 
how we are going to determine the speed of the car at point 2 and point 3, we are going to apply the conservations of mechanical energy whereby the total energy at position 1 must always equal to the total potential energy at position 2. Okay, so we treat point 1 as initial and point 2 as final. So, consider point 1. At point 1, there will be gravitational potential energy because of the height, 32 meter. And since the question state, it is being released from rest, so means that at this particular point, point 1, there will be no kinetic energy for the car. And then at point 2, this is the lowest point whereby there will be no gravitational potential energy because the height is equal to 0. And due to the speed that we want to calculate at point 2, we understood that at point 2, the car are going to have kinetic energy. So, we are going to have the energy at point 1 will be mgh1, then equal to the total energy at point 2 will be half mv squared. Then we put in the value. So, the mass can be cancelled out. Then we will get the speed of the car at point 2 will be 25.06 meter per second. So, how we are going to calculate the speed of the car at point 3? Then I'm going to treat point 1 as initial. So, I still treat point 1 as initial. Then I'll change my final position to point 3 because I want to do the calculation for speed at point 3. So, the point 3 will be my final position. So the total energy at point 1 will equal to total energy at point 3 according to the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. So at point 3, at point 3, because of the height 14 meter, the car are going to have gravitational potential energy and then class. Because we want to calculate the speed at point 3, so it means that at point 3, the car is in motion, so the car are going to have kinetic energy. So we have half mv3 squared. So put in the value, the initial height is 32, the height at position 3 is 14, then we can cancel the common m, so we will get the speed of the car at point 3 is 18.79 meter per second. So this is how we apply the conservation of mechanical energies. So always identify which is your initial position, which is your final position, and then ask yourself what kind of energy is exists at that particular position. So you might try to do tutorial for questions 7, 8, 10, 11, and 12 uh, according to the concept we discussed in this video.